Open your great big silly eyes, eh? <laughs> because if you did, you would see that I am a bird. And I'm a proper bird as well. I'm not a fish. <laughs> well, the two birds squabbled and squabbled and squabbled and squabbled and squabbled and squabbled and squabbled. They squabbled so much, they squabbled so loudly, but they didn't notice. They didn't notice. Mr. Bad Wolf. The cat. Oh, the cat. Oh. Oh. <laughs> velvet paws. Meow. Meow. Oh. 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 came back out into the meadow and saw what was about to happen, and he called up a warning to his friend, Redbird, watch out for the cat! The Redbird flew safely to the top of the tree. The duck just quacked, and the cat thought, hmm, is it really worth me climbing all the way to the top of the tree? Surely by the time I get all the way up there, Redbird will have flown away. Now, at this point in the story, Peter's grandfather came out into the garden looking for Peter because he'd made, he'd made Peter his breakfast. But Peter, Peter wasn't in the garden, was he? Where was Peter? In the meadow. Exactly. And where had Peter's grandfather told him not to go? Not to go in the meadows. Why had he told him not to go into the meadow? Bad wolf. Bad wolf. Peter! Peter, you, you can come in now. I've, I've made you your breakfast, Peter. Peter! Peter, come on! Peter, come on! Come on, it will go cold if you don't come in soon. Oh, Peter! Peter! Oh, that's my grandfather calling me, and I've just remembered him. He told me not to come into the meadow. I'm going to have to hide. grandfather came out into the meadow looking for Peter at that moment because just after they'd gone in for their breakfast 
Somebody else came out into the meadow looking for his breakfast. Somebody with great big yellow bulging eyes Whoa. and sharp pointy teeth. It was, it was the, the wolf. And let me tell you, everyone, the wolf was very, 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 very hungry. He was so hungry, everybody, because he had actually had nothing at all to eat for a whole week. Imagine, imagine that. Now, oh yes, there's something quite unusual about this cat here. Yeah. Because this particular cat, he doesn't believe in wolves. Just doesn't believe that they exist. So if you see a wolf anywhere around here, you will be sure to tell the cat, won't you? No. Yeah. Yeah. no. Gobble him up. <laughs> some people, some people say that there are wolves around these parts, but shall I tell you something, everyone? There's actually no such thing as wolves. Oh, yes, there is. No, oh, yes, there is not. Oh, yes, there is. We're not going to start that, you know. Yeah. It's not quite panto yet. Oh, listen, no, 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 there's not only... There's only wolves in storybooks, not in real life. That, that, that's what I mean. I am definitely not afraid of invisible wolves. Scrambled 
up the tree, and the wolf just sat there laughing. <laughs> Good and tasty looking trio. A cat, a bird. Thank you. And a duck. Well, the cat and Redbird were quite safe up the tree. And actually the duck was quite safe in the pond. If only she had stayed in the pond. Uh -oh. But unfortunately, when she saw the wolf, she panicked. And she didn't stay in the pond where she was safe. No, she jumped out of the pond and she started running. As fast as her little duck feet could uh -oh. take her. But look everybody, look at the size of those little duck feet compared to the great big long legs of the wolf. The duck ran for her life. But soon enough, the wolf started running after the duck. The duck ran faster. The wolf ran faster. The duck could feel the hot breath of the wolf on the back of her neck. But still, she thought she was going to get away. And just as she thought she was going to make it into the undergrowth, the wolf opened his mouth as far as it possibly could. And snap! He grabbed the poor duck. And he dragged her back behind the tree to finish her off. <laughs> It's a quack lynch. <laughs> Get the lunch. <laughs> it was very nice, actually, thank you. <laughs> what a tasty starter. And now, for the main course. Well, this was the, the situation. Meal. The cat, <laughs> the cat was on one branch of the tree. Redbird was on another branch, and all the while, the wolf looked up at them with hungry eyes, thinking they'll have to come down sometime. And when they do, I'll have them. No, you well, won't. What? Yes, I will. Oh, no. <laughs> I'll have you as well in a minute. Now, what the wolf didn't realise was that Peter had disobeyed his grandfather again. Uh -oh. He hadn't stayed in his room like his grandfather had told him to do. Do you know what he'd, do you know what he'd done, everyone? Oh, what? He'd actually, in the meadow. Yes, he'd climbed out of his bedroom window, shimmed down the drain pipe and jumped over the garden fence into the meadow. And he saw the wolf eat the duck, so he came up with a plan to rescue his friends, the cat and redbird. Very, very bravely, very quietly, he crept up through the long grass of the meadow, behind the tree, behind the wolf. And when he got as near as he dared, he looked up at his friend Redbird and he whispered, Redbird, Redbird, fly down around the wolf's head. Try to make him dizzy, Redbird. Oh, whatever you do, Please don't get eaten like that silly duck. Well, Redbird was a very clever little bird. He flew down <coughs> off the tree, just like Peter had said, and started hovering above the wolf's head. Now the wolf was still hungry. There wasn't very much meat on that duck, so the wolf started following Redbird's every move. If Redbird flew this way, the wolf followed. If Redbird flew that way, the wolf followed. And then Redbird started flying around and around and around the wolf's head, trying to make the wolf busy. But the wolf was gaining on Redbird, and just as he thought he had Redbird in his sights, he opened his jaws as far as he possibly could, and snap! <laughs> oh, oh! Redbird was too quick for the wolf. He just kept flying around and around and around the wolf's head, making the wolf dizzier and dizzier and dizzier. Oh, 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 I am so, so dizzy. Oh, dearie me, I'm so, so dizzy. <laughs> Need some paracetamol. <laughs> the wolf was so dizzy, he fell fast asleep next to the tree. Night nurse. <laughs> In the meantime, Peter came back from the house with a rope. Oh, is the wolf asleep, everyone? Yes, Peter. Yeah. Okay, 
okay, I'm going to try and catch you with this rap now. If the wolf wakes up at all, can you just say, go back to sleep, Mr. Wolf? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say that. Go back to sleep, Mr. Wolf. Let's tie the rope around his tail. tracking the wolf for days, they came out of the woods and into the meadow. procession, they took the wolf to the zoo. Now Peter was at the head of the procession. <laughs> yippee! Yippee! We, we, we caught the wolf and we go, we go into the zoo, everyone. Behind Peter in the procession were the hunters. And above 
love them all. And, and it was. Uh, it's uh, burnt. It's burnt. Oh, look what brave fellows we are. We've caught the very hungry wolf. And that, everybody, was that. I went to the zoo. <laughs> As for me, well, I'd had an absolutely fantastic time at Mr. Prokofiev's house in Russia. But it was time for me to be going home. So I started packing up my suitcase. So let me just um, get this tree. And let's have a look. Oh, just pack me. Um, yeah. Let's just pack my... Um, Oh, what's this here? Packy trunk. My tooth. Take it back to the scene. Right. Oh, no, it wasn't too bad. My toothbrush. Oh, hold on. Don't forget to pack your key. And um, what else do I need to go? Hang on. Didn't I have something on my head? Hat. 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 Black hat. Black hat. That's right. Hang on. Where is it? Black hat. Ah, there it is. Yes. Yeah. So. Uh, that's it, I think. Yes, so when I packed my suitcase up, I went back to the airport and I got on an aeroplane and I flew back home to Gloucester Airport, actually. Yeah, that's the closest one to where I live. And that, everybody, is the end of the story of Peter and the Wolf. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I have one more thing to show you. Uh, who would like to go to the zoo? Yeah. 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 Come on, Rob, let's go to the zoo. <laughs> Obviously, it couldn't be the same wolf that Peter caught because this story is so old now. The wolf that Peter caught would have died many, many years ago. You think so, clever clogs? Well, I, I know so. Oh, well, I can prove that this wolf here is exactly the same wolf that Peter caught all of those years ago. And if you or anyone, anyone else here doesn't believe me, all you have to do is open up your ears and listen very carefully. Yes. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. It was the duck still quacking in the wolf's stomach, because in his haste to have his breakfast that day, he swallowed the poor duck alive. Oh. Everybody! Yeah.